Vernon Davis has all the talent in the world. There is no reason why after just one year, we should be writing this dude off. Dallas still stinks. Mom, is that you coming down the stairs? I'm getting ready to film, Mom. I'm getting ready to film. Did you make me a sandwich? Because you know, I'm hungry. I, I, I don't want mayonnaise on my sandwich. It has to be mustard. Take it back up. I need mustard. I've been living in this basement what for 47 years. I need mustard, not mayonnaise. Now, I got to just put my fake wedding ring on, and I'm going to sit there and do a video. People think I'm married. I got to act like a married man. All right? Yo, my do it, King Thing back here, and hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. You know, Jordan Davis is a beast. He is an absolute beast, and there is no reason why the Philadelphia Eagles should fear that he is not going to be a beast this year. And what am I talking about? A lot of people think that Jordan Davis is not lived up to what he was or what he is going to be, but. We simply need him. We need him this year, and he's got all the talent in the world to live up to his first-round building, and I personally believe he's going to do that. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet, and if you've been subscribed for a while, just double-check, double moonwalk double -check, check make sure... You're still subscribed. Everything is going good. And thank you so much for your support. Um, now, I just, uh, I just, you know, I just came home and I was just talking to the wife and stuff like that. Telling the kids what to do, giving them their chores and all that stuff. And I figured I'd come and make a video. And we do have a little bit of breaking news. Uh, NFL news. Let's, let's talk about it. The dream. The dream that many of us had. And I, and I was one of them because I would have loved this. The dream to have Jeffrey Simmons possibly come to the Philadelphia Eagles because the Titans once again don't want to pay a stud player that they have. Uh, that dream is over. It is over. Because Jeffrey Simmons has signed an extension. Uh, and he is staying with the Titans uh, for a while. Uh, the Pound Titans and Jeffrey Simmons agreed in principle to a four-year contract extension. Simmons agent Paul DeRella and GM Rand Carthon ensure the Titans will have their premier player for the long haul. And I, I think I read somewhere because as of this video, the financials weren't out yet. But somebody did say something about him being the highest paid defensive player. I'm not sure if that's defensive player, defensive lineman. I, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, the financials aren't out. I don't really care. I mean, the point is, he's not coming to Philly, and uh, we can forget that. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I, think, I think so many people are really down on Jordan Davis. They're really down on him. And I, I don't really totally understand it, you know, because though it's, it's, this is how I see most rookie situations like for most rookies that come in I you know I always look at the first year as kind of like the starting point like gauging where they're at you know and it's really that second year that third year it's it's those years that I want to see the growth and I I kind of look at where Jordan Davis came in you know last year and I say to myself all right that's his starting point all right that's what he is um but there is no reason to think that Jordan Davis cannot be dominant. And you can't, you cannot one bit underestimate how much he meant on that run defense. Before he got hurt, he was a big impact player against the run. He was. He totally was. But he got hurt. Then we got Sue and Joseph and, uh, you know, and, and he his role seemed diminished. He, you didn't really hear from him as much. But to me, I I don't understand. I don't understand why people are giving up on this guy so quickly. I, I don't. I think Jordan Davis is going to be a stud. Now, the thing with Jordan Davis, to me, uh, more than anything this offseason and going into next year is going to be uh, his conditioning. 
He's got to come in in shape. He has to come in in shape. He has to come in stronger, and he has to have way better stamina than he than he did last year. He he was 360 in the national championship game. Then he went on some crash diet for the combine, and then he gained weight back by the draft. And 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 it was just ballooning. It was all over the place. And with a full all season for him to just go and you know rest after the season a little bit, and then. Get going and just get into the best shape you can be in, best condition he can be in. I have no reason to think that this kid is not going to come in and dominate. I think he's got to. We need him to step up. Now, Jordan Davis does not, uh, you know, diminish the possibility that the Eagles would take a Jalen Carter if he falls at 10. Of course you, you, you need to do that. You need two defensive tackles. Fletcher Cox is there one more year. So, to me, that wouldn't change anything. But I, I am not giving up on Jordan Davis. And a lot of people have. It really surprises me. Uh, he's got to be better conditioned. And then he's got to become a better pass rusher. I don't ever think Jordan Davis is going to give you nine, ten sacks in a year. But I think he can get you five, five and a half. Uh, maybe career high six, something like that. I think it's possible, but what he's going to give you in the run game, his size, his strength, uh, his ability to take on double teams and free up that other guy, uh, those are, are things that, that you can't, that, you know, that, that sometimes doesn't show up on a stat, stat board, but you, you can't take away from the guy. The guy is going to be good. You know, uh, Jalen Carter would be a great per player to put next to him. Kalijah Kansi is another. I think both those guys would complement Jordan Davis very, very well. But the thing in the key to Jordan Davis, to me, out of anything, he's got to be in shape. He has to be better conditioned. But, you know, we hear it and we heard it when he was drafted. Well, he doesn't play on third downs. He's not a three-down defensive tackle. You look at his size his strength, his athletic ability, everything that he showed he can do from an athletic standpoint. And you tell me that he is not athletic enough or he is not good enough to ever become a three-down uh, defensive tackle? Uh, I don't believe that. I believe he's a three-down lineman. I, I believe he can be that. He's got all the talent in the world from a physical standpoint. The question is going to be conditioning and if he's coming in in shape, he's got to work. He's going to have to work his butt off. But if he does that, he is going to be a very, very good player for a very long time. It's just a matter of, of his will, you know, his heart. How much does he want it? By all accounts, the kid is a great kid, a stand-up kid, well-liked within the locker room. Um, and I think people, you know, they, they, they look at him, they look at his size, and then they assume, well, he's lazy, or he doesn't want to work at it, or he doesn't, you know, or why did he come in out of shape his rookie year, which is a fair criticism. However, if you remember early in Brandon Graham's career, and I think it was his second year, he came in really out of shape. I, it was, I believe, his second year. It's the first or second. One of these years he came in and the Eagles were not happy with him because he was not conditioned. That never happened again. Brandon Graham never let that happen again. And I'm hoping and I got to believe that Jordan Davis will not let that happen again. I think if Jordan Davis comes in at like 325, somewhere around there, I think he's set. But to me, the, his biggest issue last year was stamina. I mean, there were times where, you know, he'd come in for play and you'd look at him he'd be like, that. <gasps> And he was sucking air, and, and as he's sucking air, all the players are getting pulled into his vortex, to his mouth. Like, it was like sucking everything, everything in to his mouth, because he was just gasping for air. And, he's like, <gasps> and you'd see him, like, sucking for air, and you'd see, like, Darius Slade come, like, come, like, flying in, and, like, having to keep himself from getting sucked down his mouth, because he was just sucking everything, paws. But that was Jordan Davis. He was just not well conditioned. And then as the season went and he started to become more conditioned because of, you know, because they were playing, I think he did a great job against the run. He did, really did. I think it was like almost like a, well, I, I don't remember what, what the exact was, so I don't want to just throw out. But I think it was somewhere between eight, like, 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 like eight or nine yards a, 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 a carry difference 
when he was on the field and teams, you know, were running with him on the field and him off. He was making a big difference. Then he got banged up. That that really hurt him. It really did. Now we got Sue and we got Joseph and, and, and you know, we did what we had to do. But I think Jordan Davis, I, I mean, I am one of the guys I'm most excited about going into this season is Jordan Davis because I think Jordan Davis, if he if he puts the work in, he is going to be a dominant force for a long time. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of teams, but he's got to put the work in. And I just think sometimes because he's at the size he is, um, I think I think people often just assume that he's lazy. He doesn't want to work, and uh, I don't think we should judge him that. Uh, judge that or put that on him yet let's see what happens going into year two but I expect a big improvement for him I expect a big jump regardless whether we get Jalen Carter or you don't get Jalen Carter or you get Kansas or whoever if you don't get anybody at defensive tackle or you get somebody in the second or third round doesn't matter Jordan Davis was the 13th pick overall last year he has got to go and he's going to have to go stand for himself and go out and be that dude and I think he will. I do. I expect big, big things from Jordan Davis. Not just his size, not just his weight, but I expect him to come in in shape, come in ready to go. I expect him to be better at rushing the passer. It won't be, he won't be a finished product. All right. He still will be developing, but I expect him to take a big jump, play a lot more snaps and really contribute to the Eagles defense. I really, really do. Now, uh, before I go, uh, if you guys somehow are like me and you don't want to buy into the narratives of we don't draft running backs in the first round, you never draft running backs in the first round, we don't care if it's Barry Sanders, Edgar James, we'll take the lesser talent. If you don't buy into that, then you may want to click the link in the description and go pre-order yourself a Draft 5 hat. That's right, a draft five hat. My hat's not here yet. I'm hoping it actually comes today. I was hoping to actually have it today. But um, draft five, we're wearing it. That is the movement to get Bijan Robinson to Philly. We want to get him to Philly. I don't care if it's the 10th pick. I don't care if it's the 30th pick. I don't care if they trade up. Do what you have to do and get them here. It is a movement. We A lot of people are buying these. We've got trucker hats with screen prints. And we got the embroidered ones. Um, it, whatever you like, you'll find it there. So definitely click the link uh, in the description and go pre-order yours today. They will be they will be delivered on before draft night, before draft night. So you'll have them draft night when we're streaming live. And we are basically uh, going to will and wear our way to Bajan Robinson in Philly. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. Oh, and that part at the very beginning of the video, don't, don't mind that. I, I just forgot to edit that out. I just I I don't live at home in my mom's basement. I don't I'm not really a forty seven year old virgin. That's not true. That's not true. I, I'm not not married. This isn't a fake wedding ring. That, that ain't true. That, that that ain't true. You know? I, that's not true. Don't believe any of that stuff. I, I don't I don't have my mom make me sandwiches every day and bring them down to the basement. Don't believe any of that. That that's that, just nonsense. It's just all talk. It's all talk. It ain't real. I just want you to know it's not real. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. It's not real. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 a I'm a, I'm a stud. I'm married. I got children. I I slip them past the goalie. I say, hey, yo, baby, this body was made to give pleasure. And my wife said, oh, I want to marry him. It's all true. It's all true. Don't don't believe it. That that ain't my mom. That's a Washington album.